Hi guys! In this video we are going to make a finished retouch using a frequency separation, and I will also show you how to use the clone stamp tool for a high frequency retouch. Let's create a frequency separation with 8 pixel radius. We have learned from the previous video that 8 pixel radius is the most appropriate for removing skin imperfections on this photo. As you can see, our frequency separation looks different. There are two additional layers appeared. These layers are duplicates of our high and low frequencies. With these layers, you always have spare copies of both frequencies in case of a mistake. It is also convenient to see the progress of your retouch by temporary switching off high or low frequencies. These layers have been created because I changed the setting of creating the frequency separation setup by checking this little tick here. You can find a particular tutorial with a highly detailed description of all settings. Now I'll show you how to easily switch between frequencies using this plugin. This method allows you to select switch off and on layers without a second thought. Using a texture button. We go to a high frequency. Using a low button, we go to a low frequency. Note that the plugin automatically changes necessary tools for each frequency. The retouch can be performed when only one frequency is switched on and when both of them are on at the same time. To enable all two uh, turned off layers, just click on a corresponding frequency once again. It can be useful when you want to see the result of your retouch. This means that you can see the final image while you are retouching one of your frequencies. Now let's go to a low frequency and start to retouch it using a mixer brush tool. Check our settings before we start and set, set them to 20. 20, 20, and 30. And the sample all layers setting should be unchecked. Now we start to retouch using two ways of motions we learned about in previous videos.
Look at the result of the low frequency retouch. Now let's begin the high frequency retouch. Click the texture button and check our settings. Now pay your attention here because we learned the Clone Stem Tool settings for the first time. The Blend Mode should be set to Normal. The Opacity should be set to 100%. The Flow should be set to 100% and the current layer must be selected. Also, check your brush has hard edges. It is necessary so that a texture pattern lays without any distortion. Hold Alt on Windows or Options on Mac and make a right click. Drag vertically and you will see how the texture, how the hardness of your brush changes. Drag horizontally and you will easily change the size of your brush. Use this trick to reduce the time to set the brush. Let's begin to retouch our high frequency. Hold Alt on Windows or Options on Mac to take a good texture sample. And after that, we replace a texture with an imperfection by our sample. It is very important to remember that a good sample should be taken next to a texture to be replaced. It is necessary so that you don't get artifacts when you take a texture from some other place. If this happens, just make a step back and select a new texture sample. In addition, the smaller the size of the clone stem tool, the better the transition from a clone texture to an original one you will get. And now, after I have told you about all the details, let's begin to fully retouch our high frequency.
Okay, we have finished to retouch both our frequencies, and let's see the before and after. Now look at the before and after of high and low frequency frequencies separately. We can leave this retouch in a group, or we can finish the retouch process by clicking the FS Merge button. All layers will be merged into one, and you'll get a finished result. You can also use this button if you stand only on one frequency with the T booster on. Click this button, and all necessary layers will be switched on and the T booster will turn off. Retouch other parts of the face if you need to. For example, let's retouch lips a bit.
Now I'll show you a little trick how to paint eyebrows. Let's create a frequency separation once again using a small radius. Zoom in our brow and enable this setting. Pick a color of the brow with the eyedropper tool and um, lower the tone of the selected color a bit. And now we begin to carefully paint the girl's eyebrow. Now, you have seen the whole retouching process using a frequency separation method. In the next video, you will learn about other various methods of a frequency separation.